everybody. We'll be making bean and cheese enchiladas verde from Lauren Toyota's cookbook, Vegan Comfort Classics. 101 recipes to feed your face. cashews in there, probably a little bit extra because there's a little air in there, but then I'll get started on the filling. We're going to small dice half an onion. Mince two cloves of garlic. We're going to thinly slice one jalapeno. Four cups of spinach. I'm just guesstimating on the measurements. After boiling the cashews for 20 minutes, I'm going to put them into a blender. along with a half cup of tightly packed cilantro. One tablespoon of lime juice. And a cup and a half of salsa verde. and then blend until smooth. Preheat your oven to 375. The recipe calls for navy beans, but personally I prefer black beans, so we're gonna be using black beans instead. You'll need one cup of corn and one cup of black beans, drained and rinsed. You're going to want to get out a large pan and put a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of oil in it on medium heat. Saute the garlic and onion for two minutes. You're going to want to add half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. After a minute of sauteing with the spices, put in your corn, beans, and spinach, and cook down until the spinach is wilted. It says to add a cup and a half, but I added two cups of vegan mozzarella cheese. That's fine, I like cheese. After the mozzarella has melted down, remove the pan from the heat and put the contents of the pan into a bowl. Wipe out your pan and put another tablespoon of oil into it on medium heat. Heat the tortillas one at a time in the oil, making sure to flip after one to two minutes. Once the tortillas are done, oil a baking dish about nine by eight or whatever you have and put a thin layer of the verde sauce that we made. 
Fill your tortillas with about a fourth cup of filling and then roll and place into the pan. I was only able to fit 10 just because of the size of my baking dish. After you have finished rolling and placing the enchiladas into the dish, pour the rest of your verde sauce over top. Add a half cup of mozzarella cheese or however much you want and add the thinly sliced jalapenos on top. Bake for 15 minutes. Cut up your avocado, your green onions, and lime wedges. Try black tea, uh -huh. and you got avocado all over my camera. <laughs> Good. You did. <laughs> <laughs> After 15 minutes, pull your enchiladas out of the oven. They should be nice and bubbly. The plating is very messy. Oh well. Yeah, that's better. There's supposed to be pepper in the mix. I forgot it. Don't forget to add a fourth teaspoon of pepper to the filling. I am very confident that if you are not vegan, you'd be very satisfied. You want to try? Yeah. That is ridiculously good. Mmm. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it. I think you have a better reaction than I do when it comes to food. Because <laughs> I'm just like, hmm, it's good. I'm a noisemaker. I think that's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.